Hi, I'm Val with Hammer in Hand out here on the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House and we're going to talk about a little bit about our different Passive House assemblies here. So what we began with was our foundation and after that was poured we coated it with this elastomeric waterproofing membrane. It's a roll-on product. You can also get it in a trowel-on or a spray-on. And that, this, product, this specific product allows us to put it on green concrete, which is very important to us to maintain our schedule. After that, we installed our foam, and what we've, we've installed it in two layers so that we can stagger our seams. You can see here we have a two-inch layer and a four-inch layer of the seams about 12 inches apart horizontally and um, a theoretical inch and a half apart vertically. We intentionally ordered our foam shorter than the top of our foundation so that we could get our foam in, we could backfill, and then later when we frame our upper walls and tilt them up, we can air seal and maintain our air barrier that wraps around the house, up the wall, and up the framing wall so that that's a continuous air barrier here. After that is done, we pre-ordered, pre-cut pieces of foam that will fit right in here and land nice and level here. They'll be protected with a metal or some other type of cap. And then our Larson truss will be built on top of that. Our Larson truss consists of a nine and a half inch eye joist nailed directly to the studs that are beyond this sheathing and they'll sit on top of a one inch LSL rim board that's also a one inch, a nine and a half by one inch rim board. Here at the rough openings where later we'll install a door, we have set a higher density foam. The reason we've used this higher density foam is because the doors in this house will actually be installed out in this plane to optimize their performance. This higher density foam is the same foam that we use under the footings. And the reason we use it because it's under a higher load than the lower density foams. What we'll do here is using a liquid flashing product, we will flash this completely over and then shim our window directly onto this foam and then after that is installed, this whole foam will be protected, which we'll show you in a later video.